Hello, beloveds. Okay, I got a good video for you today. First off, let me say this. Welcome back to another one of my videos. If you like this video, like, subscribe, comment, and share. So, ha, let me just say this. I don't have anything against when a person wants to take pharmaceuticals, okay? I just know that I would never swallow a pill for anything. But let me say this. Every year I go to the doctor once a year to get a physical, you know, to get a pap smear, to get my mammogram, to get things like that, because I don't have machines here at home where I can see in my breast. I don't, I can't take my own blood work and things like that. So there are some things that doctors have to do that I can't do. You know, when they diagnose me with anything or they try to diagnose me, because they try, they don't, they try. So I go in for the kill and I do my thing and I'm all fine. Let me say this. <clears throat> so let me tell you this quick story and I'm gonna explain these to you. I went to the doctor, okay, for just a mammogram and you know, things like that. So I go to the doctor. Anytime I walk into a doctor's office, I my blood pressure gets high and that's only once a year because I don't wanna be there. If I get upset about something, my blood pressure goes up. But once it, once I get rid of the problem, it goes away, which it could be a person, it could be my business, it could be me doing too much housework, whatever it is. Okay, so I go to the doctor, right? Get my mammogram. Um, and she tells me that my, usually they don't take your blood pressure, but I don't know, she did. So she took my blood pressure, she said, oh, you're, your blood pressure is a little high. Now, mind you, my blood pressure was only 136 over 80, which is great for, um, yeah, it was one, no, it was one, yeah, 136 over 80, which, hey, it was a little elevated, but it was just because I was upset because I was sitting so long, I was getting agitated and I hate going to the doctor. But anyway, let me get right on to the nitty gritty here. So she tells me, um, you need to go and see your medical doctor um, because, you know, your blood pressure was a little high. And last year when you came, it was the same thing, 136 over 80. Hmm. So I said to this nurse, ma'am, my blood pressure only gets high whenever I walk into any doctor's office, even when I'm whatever, if it has MD behind it, Okay, I'm, 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 I'm upset now. Okay, but anyway, so I go to my medical doctor. And I'm thinking, well, you know what? You never know. Let me just go. First, it took a week for me to get that appointment. As soon as I got home from getting my mammogram, I came in the house, checked my blood pressure. It was normal. I believe it was 120 over 80 or something like that, which is normal. I'm 55 years old, going on 56 don't have any health issues. Every now and then something tries to come my way, but I clear that right up immediately. But anyway, so I go to the doctor. When I go to the doctor, then he wants to check my bladder. Okay, check my urine. He comes back, he says, well, your blood pressure, it is the same thing that they said when you got your mammogram. Your blood pressure is 136 over 80. I say, it's always like this doctor. I'm trying to tell you guys. He asked me, what is it when you're at home? I said, it's normal. Well, you have hypertension. Yeah, okay, doctor. Uh-huh, yeah, mm-hmm. Um, then he tells me, and your bladder, um, your, bl your, your urine was a little cloudy, so we're gonna give you um, uh, a blood pressure pill so you can start taking it. Then we're gonna give you something for your bladder. Okay, now, mind you, Mind you, as we get older, your blood pressure may elevate a little bit. Your bladder may become a little weak or it may get a little cloudy, whatever. But let me just say this. Y'all get where I'm going with this, right? Okay. These, and I, you know what? I got these because I want to show you guys. I got these on purpose. I got these on purpose because I'm not taking this ish. But anyway, 
here I'm, I'm going to show you this this is what i'm supposed to take in a day in a day i'm supposed to take uh three of these three of these little babies right here two of these bad boys and two of these killers okay now that's in one day um uh, this is supposed to be, these two are supposed to be for hypertension, which I don't have. This is supposed to be for pain in my bladder. And these are for um, some other kind of hyper, something to, he said to bag these two up. Okay. So mind you, mind you, this is seven pills a day. Okay. Wait till I get to the good part. This is seven pills a day, right? Three, four, five, six, seven. This is seven pills a day. Okay. Let's put these right on over here. Let's put all of these cancer-causing pills right on over here. Okay, seven pills a day. In one week's time, this is what I would take in one week. One week, in seven days, I would take 49 pills. At the end of each week, I have inside my body 49 pharmaceutical drugs. In one month's time, from the 1st to the 30th, or from the 1st to the 31st, with the first, whatever it may be, I would have had inside of my body 196 pills. Now, mind you, these little babies right here, this one, they tell me this one will cause your kidneys to shut down if you take too many. Okay? This one right here will cause you to have a heart attack but it's supposed to be for hypertension. This one here is supposed to be for pain. Well, they told me I can vomit, throw up, or my heart could stop. So, now, let's get these killers out of the way, okay? Because they're going straight in the garbage. So, all right, let me tell you what I did. Here's the greatness. For what they call hypertension, this is what I do. Cat's claw, basil, and cinnamon, and hibiscus inside of here. When I take this, one teaspoon a day in some water, okay? And it turns out like this. Strain it, whatever you wanna do, or you can eat it all. I have no blood pressure issues at all not even a little bit okay that's for and this is not going to harm you at all okay they said you know you're getting older your bladder is a little inflamed okay i'll take that but let me tell you what i did for my bladder okay here it is right here that's it i take one teaspoon all right in there i have uva it's called uva uva I have dandelion root, horsetail, and marshmallow root, and dandelion root, okay? I have no issues at all, at all. Also, this is great for inflammation anywhere in the body, uh, arthritis or anything like that. But I also did a video on arthritis, I believe I did. Yeah, I did, I did. Go back and look at that video. But when they tell you to take these, which is going to equal, once again, seven of these a day equals 49 in a week and 196 capsules in a month. And if you go like this month did, oh, so now you're up to over 200 capsules in a month's time. So just imagine how many you would have in your body in a year's time. This is affecting what they tell me, my heart, my liver, my kidneys. One doctor even told me your pancreas. Another doctor told me, well, the same doctor tells me, and this can also cause, uh, it has been known to cause cancer. Okay? But this is what they prescribed me. When I can fix myself with holistic goodness. And how about this? It's nothing wrong with me. That's all I have to say, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, comment, and share, and learn that you can get some heal some.
on your own just by researching and knowledge and well myself i've been doing this for 40 years okay like subscribe comment and share and don't get gacked peace and blessings